What is going on guys? Welcome back to the channel and I appreciate you being here. Today I bring you a top 5 best and most OP non-exotic weapons for PvP. Now before we get into this list people, if you guys would like to support the channel, hitting that like button truly does help me out for sure and I do appreciate the support. Okay, so today I have five amazing weapons for PvP which do not include any exotics, so no Goviton Lance and no damn Vigilance Wing. Now the point of this video is to hopefully help people mix it up a little. PvP at the moment is just full of one or the other exotic pulse rifles. Many weapons on this list, if not all of them, are capable of outgunning both exotic pulses, so you may as well check them out. Okay, so at number five we have the Redrix's Claymore. Now this is a weapon which realistically should be at that number one spot. It's by far the craziest weapon in the game and it's capable of outgoing every exotic in the game for sure. There's no doubt about it. The problem is, and the reason I put it in that number five spot, is because it's so hard to obtain. You basically need to play the heck out of comp for numerous hours, winning constantly to obtain this weapon. The two people I know who have it, one grinded for 19 hours to get it, the other one had to win 80 plus games to get this weapon. So the likes of me ain't ever gonna see this thing. It's rewarded after you reach a rank 3 in glory, which is around that 2200 point mark. It's just crazy. We can see this weapon in action now thanks to True Vanguard, an absolute beast in PvP, and it comes at no surprise he's one of the first to get this thing. If you want to check him out, his Twitter and Twitch are linked within the video description. would be proud of you, Warlock. By a team that fights together, stays together. Ikora would be proud of you, Warlock. Ditch effort. That's two. A powerful statement. We're we going in the paint. On the edge of victory, annihilate them. That's two. own advantage is yours. You strike as one. A powerful statement. Don't see lost. Your light is fierce, warlock. Zone A captured. Zone advantage is yours. At 4 we have the Marine. Now this is a weapon awarded for the opposite of comp and glory. This you get for reaching a rank 3 in Valor. And to be honest, it isn't too hard to get either. I unlocked it without even realising. Now once you reach that rank 3, Shax will sell it to you. And it's as simple as that. Now I saw this and thought it's just going to be that typical push rifle which you unlock, you use once, have a bad game with it and either delete it or put it away in your vault. But for me it wasn't like that at all. I used it not expecting much because its stats ain't the greatest. Having steady rounds and accurate rounds as well as head seeker. Like I said I didn't expect much but damn I was surprised. The thing about this weapon is Although it doesn't seem to pack a major punch, it kills so quick considering the weapon itself. I did find myself taking out so many enemies at once, popping in and out, ducking and diving. I actually liked it. Now I won't say it's the best because it isn't, but it's definitely a capable weapon for sure. Zone B lost. One. 
Next up we have a new addition to the Yu Yu's gift family. Now this breed of auto rifles are arguably the best in the game. First we had the Yu Yu's gift, we then had the positive outlook and now we have a warm mind weapon called the Kibu or Kibol AR3, I think that's how it's pronounced, I'm not even sure. The weapon besides its perks is almost identical to the Yu Yu's gift so using it I knew what to expect and damn I wasn't let down. It felt great at them close to semi mid range distances. Now the meta in PvP has changed, it's all about Porsche rifles, we all know that, they are the best type of weapon to use. But when an auto rifle steps on those feet, you know it's got to be a good auto rifle. And the Cabal certainly is. This can drop from basically anywhere, so when you get it drop, if you are a fan of auto rifles, give it a try, it might surprise you. You're on the edge of victory. Annihilate them. You strike as one. Zone A, power play, total control. At two, we have the Battle Star. So the Battle Star was one of the first weapons I got within a Warmind DLC. And initially, after trying it out for a few games, I put it aside, even though it was decent. I just thought, obviously, there would be better weapons to come. So I put it within my vault and kind of forgot about it. Then a few days ago, my friend tells me he's owning with this new Porsche rifle, and he states it's called the Battle Star. Knowing the name sounded familiar, I checked my vault, and there it was, gathering dust. So I gave it another try, this is basically after using everything else, and it was better than I remembered. Now I will mention this is not a weapon for everyone, it has its ups and downs, but in my opinion there are definitely more ups than downs. It's a weapon if you can control, it will do serious damage to anyone using any weapon. It shoots 450 rounds per minute and because it shoots so quick, it makes for a serious weapon at close to mid ranges. This weapon again can drop from anywhere, so if you have it drop, try it out. Like I said, it isn't for everybody, some will love it, others will hate it. Zone B captured, zone advantage is yours, and that's how you get ground. Two down. So in my opinion the best weapon so far within the Warman DLC, which isn't an exotic and is easy to get, is the Requiem 45. This weapon is just nasty in every way, it shoots insanely quick, it has great stability, great range and just takes out everything it's so fast it's unreal. I made a video about this weapon of me using it live and I had so much fun and you guys will witness a bit of that in a second. The perks on it ain't even that great either, but they just seem to fit, it has accurate rounds, steady rounds paired with Zen Moment. If you guys remember a Pulse Rifle from Destiny 1 called the Hawksaw, this reminds me a lot of that weapon. So if you have this Requiem 45, definitely give it a try. You can easily take out people using the two exotic pulses, the Gravity Lance and the Vigilance Wing. The Requiem 45 is a Pulse Rifle which can drop from literally anywhere in the game. I've had so many of these drop now I've lost count, so it definitely isn't rare. And with the current Pulse Rifle meta, I'd probably say this is one of the best weapons for PvP in the game, including exotics. Try it out people, I'm pretty sure you guys will love it. In the background now is me using this thing live, excuse my excitement, I kinda get like this when I'm having a blast in PvP. A 
A beast. You gained the lead. Now you're fighting with heart, Ah, it's a dead. Oh, I'm away. I'm so dead. I'm dead. Three minutes. Ah! It's close. Runs out too quick on and gun does. Guys, I am out. These were, in my opinion, the five best Warmind DLC non exotic weapons for PvP. If you guys use anything else found within the Warmind DLC, let me know what that is. I'm aware there are still weapons I meant to try out, so if you have a suggestion, please let me know down below. Guys, I hope you enjoyed the video. If you did, leave a like, truly helps me out, and hopefully, people, I will see you on that next one.